outgoing government of Prime Minister Tihomir Oreshkovich met today for the last time. His cabinet adopted a report on its work. Looking back at his short time in office, the Prime Minister said that he was pleased that current economic indicators for Croatia were positive and that the public debt and deficit had been brought under control. President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic is on the second day of her first official visit to the United Kingdom. She gave a lecture this morning at the University of London and was interviewed by the BBC. She said that her meeting yesterday with UK Prime Minister Theresa May had focused on Brexit and the migrant crisis. President Grabar-Kitarovic will meet later today with Economy Minister Greg Clark and attend a working lunch with representatives of banks and investment institutions. The Zagreb County Court has ruled that Juro Gavrilovic will be tried on charges of abuse of office and war profiteering. Anti-corruption prosecutors accuse him of using state funds intended for Croatia's defense in the homeland war to purchase several companies belonging to the state-owned Gavrilovic Group, the meat industry company that carries his family name. This, prosecutors claim, was facilitated by Jozo Martinovic, Croatia's finance minister during that time. Gavrilovic bought the company for around 1.7 million euros in 1991, when its estimated value was around 34 million euros. Vukovar has welcomed the arrival of its 193rd river cruise ship this year. Tourists were treated to Slavonian specialties and the sounds of the traditional instrument, the tamburica. Among the most frequent visitors to the eastern Croatian city this year were Americans and Germans. But the number of French nationals is also rising. PPD Zagreb are making a comeback after two losses in the Champions League. They defeated Macedonian side Metalurg 29-20 in the fifth round of play in the SEHA League. This was Zagreb's fourth win of the season in the regional league. Kontrets and Mandalinic scored five goals each and goalkeeper Skok was in top form, managing 14 saves. After their away win against MZT in the ABA League, Cibona were defeated in Osijek last night by hosts Vrijednostnice 78-71. Cedevita, meanwhile, play their Euro Cup opener in Group A in Spain tonight against Gran Canaria. Today's forecast calls for moderate to heavy clouds. There is a chance of occasional rain in Slavonia. Skies will gradually clear up this afternoon starting in the west. The coast will see mostly sunny weather. Expect moderate to high northerly and northwesterly winds on the coast during the day and a northeasterly this evening. The day's highs will be mostly between 9 and 13 degrees in the interior and between 15 and 19 degrees on the Adriatic. Over the coming days, it will be mostly sunny and dry in the interior. Some morning fog is expected on Thursday. Saturday will be variably cloudy with a chance of afternoon rain in places, especially in the mountains. Thursday's temperatures will be relatively cool, but the mercury will rise slightly after that. It will be partly sunny on the coast on Thursday during the day and a bit cloudier by evening. Friday will bring more clouds and occasional rain. There will be more pronounced rain and thunder showers in the north on Saturday. Southeasterly winds will pick up gradually and temperatures will also warm up. Thank you.